Now this, this was probably the number one thing that sold the bag to me. And that is this. Revolutionary, frontline standing, solitary, mind state, kind of scary. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath and put me on the front line. 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 What's up boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a everyday carry bag that I personally bought from Flag Nor Fail. If you haven't heard of them already, I would definitely spend about a week going through their videos on YouTube um, and go and follow everything they've ever produced because it's fucking amazing. And it will blow your mind and probably change your way of looking at life. So go and do that after this video. But right now we're going to get to this bag. First things first, it's camo and that's fucking cool. I, and you will probably see this continuity with Flag Nor Fail, but they really do. They, um, I may make this clear straight away. This isn't just a standard bag that they've had made and had nothing to do with the design and just stuck a thing on it. They've actually designed this bag, you know, from the very beginning. They, like Rob says, he's, he's done um, many many different designs and trial and error and and come up with this really really great product um, So many cool features on this that works um, So so well For me as a personal trainer. I'm gonna go through some key points which has helped me out um, or, or just anybody who, who does go to the gym quite regularly. Here's some key points why you need this bag in your life Okay Starting with the looks at... Okay, so starting with the looks of the bag, I really like it. It's, to me, it's a really good size. Um, camo all the way around, beautiful. Um, you know, it's got some details, you know, like you've got... You've got their patch that they've put on there, and it's got... The zippers have actually got you know, the Flag Nor Fail logo, which is a nice touch. Um, and on the front strap too. Um, I've, I really like the design of the bag. I like how there's not so many straps and clips that, you know, just get in the way. Um, and I have the exact same problem with, as Rob does, is that you end up cutting those off of the bag anyway. So I like how this is very clean and it's got, you know, everything in the right place. Um, on the back, on the back, you'll see we've got these. Now, I've never had a bag with these on before. Um, I did watch Rob, Rob's video on the everyday carry bag, and I understand it's something about allowing your back to breathe and to get air into, you know, to circulate. Um, there's nothing worse than having a really sweaty back, especially when I'm going to be carrying this traveling and things like this in the future. Another thing which was a really big um, selling point for me, this is a, a back pocket here which is like a secret compartment almost which has got a lot of padding in actually. Feeling that, it's quite a lot of padding and you can slip things in there that are important like keys, passport, wallet, cards and you know whatever else that you know you need to keep safe and it's good that this pocket is pretty much on your back if you think about it whilst the bag is on no one can really just slip their hand in do you know what I mean you have to physically unzip it you know so it's a really really nice touch that and that has made me want to get this bag more just because of this feature um, again really nice materials here really comfortable to have on as well because this is really padded um, same with the straps it's got the same material here I cannot tell you enough at how comfortable this is to have on. Okay, so again, if you look here, there's actually a handle on the back, or a handle underneath, sorry, and a handle at the top. 
So it makes for putting your luggage in the lug luggage compartment that much easier. You just hold onto the handles and slide the bag into place rather than, like Rob said, hoisting it up like this and throwing it up there or, you know, mistreating and, and possibly breaking the contents of the bag. Um, so this is a really nice touch, makes it easy to move it about. Up top, we'll start with this compartment first. Um, this compartment is quite small. I can put things in here. I can put my wallet in here. I've got I've got marker pens. It's not that that deep, and it doesn't need to be. And that's the beautiful part. This is a quick a quick bag. Sorry, a quick pocket to uh, to go to. So you're not reaching all the way down here and trying to find your keys or something. This is a quick um, access pocket. iPod, keys. It's quite a good space. Um, next on the back. So it opens this side and it's the zip comes right down to here whereas that side it doesn't so the whole bag is not completely open which is quite nice. I've had bags in the past where you open a zip and the whole thing just flops out you know. So this is nice and in the back here I can keep my iPad in the back. Magazine keeps nice and flat. I'm going to get a, another PowerBook or a MacBook Pro and that will just slide straight in there. It's got a lot of padding in the back and a lot of padding at the bottom so I know that it's going to be safe and it's going to be close to my back. Um, so very, very safe and comfortable to lots of space in there. This main compartment, alright, this is amazing. Now, I'm a personal trainer. So I need to fit my my gym um, uniform in there. If I'm training as well, I like to keep my shoes in there. If I'm doing deadlifts, I need some flat shoes. So um, headphones, size 11 feet. That's UK, so I guess in America it's size 12. Converse fit easily in there. Got my gym gym uniform, shorts and t-shirt. Now this. This was probably the number one thing that sold the bag to me. And that is this. This is a food bag. And as you can see, it's got the classic Anchor and Axe logo on there. And it's a cool bag, you know? So inside, I can keep four containers of food and some ice packs I've eaten all my food um, you know get your own ice packs they're about one pound or a dollar whatever wherever you live so I can comfortably fit four containers in there easily and these are these are throwaway containers as well I kept them in there just so I can show you for reference on space but when you are done with your containers and your food you can literally just get this bag and just like fold it up and put it straight in the bag and you've got loads more space in the bag. Which answers this dilemma. You imagine me going to work with a big rucksack on, which I've got right here, but then having to take a separate bag, a cool bag for all of my meals. So here's, a, here's one from my protein. Like, when all these meals are done, I have to lug around this for the rest of the day. Or, the six-pack bag one. I have to lug this empty bag around all day and come home with it. Now, I've got... I've got this bag, which I can just put my food in. And I've still got loads of space left for all my shoes, gym equipment, headphones, shakers, protein, everything that I need, essentials and I can fit in this one bag. So there's no need to carry multiple bags. For me, <laughs> that is perfect and just what I needed. Now, on the side of the bag, you'll see this and there's no need to have one on the other side. Just one, I don't drink two out of two bottles, just one please. So they've made that and of course, after trial and error may I add, They've made this pocket higher so that drink bottles don't fall out of it. I can fit a shaker in here if I need to. It's 
extra tight here. I think it's made out of spandex here. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that is going to be nice and snug in there. A quick go-to, grab a drink, especially if I'm on, you know, out walking somewhere or, or whatever um, I decide to do, I can quickly grab a drink and I know that it's not going to fall out. You know, they've made it taller as well, which is so, so good. So yeah, I friggin' love this bag. Absolutely love it. I'm going to put it to so much good use this year, especially. I've um, going to Portugal for one, so that's going to be coming with me. Tend to go for long walks in the forest, um, you know, exploring and things like this, and it's nice to just have something that I can put everything in and know it's going to be safe and it's going to be comfortable to wear. Um, so that is the everyday carry bag, and I'm so friggin' excited. It excites the piss out of me knowing that I have this now and not some shitty little canvas bag which you have a friggin stupid drawstring with that just hangs unnecessarily <laughs> and you know with poppers and things like this and it just looks like a bag of waste now I have this in my life so that's my kind of like review uh, first glance at the everyday carry bag from Flag and Fail it does come in another color bright red if you're into that I'm going to leave a link to Rob's video where he shows you the bag as well in his own words and you get to see you know, all the other things that I've left out. If you're interested in all the materials used and things like that, I'm going to leave a link to their website where you can go straight to the bag and buy one yourself. It's about $82. This is the thing as well, right? So in the order I made, I think it was the weekend just gone, Saturday, Sunday-ish. Plus, it's a bank holiday here in the UK as well. I ordered it on Saturday, on, I think it was Saturday night. And I'm ordering this from Pennsylvania, obviously, as you know, if you're hardcore Flag or Fail fans like me, you'll know that it's going to take a while to get here. Four days! It's Thursday today, so I ordered it Saturday, Sunday, I can't remember. But yeah, four or five days to deliver, and I could track it from Pennsylvania to New York to to hear and that I that's phenomenal that's almost as quick as here in the UK if I'm buying it from this you know in the UK that's crazy so that was the main order that I, I purchased that's the main thing I bought with that I chose to get this this is a t-shirt that I also selected from Flag Nor Fail I fucking love the message to be honest I love all Flag Nor Fail's t-shirts I think it's such a good idea to have motivational um, clothing out there, especially when you're in the, the you know the fitness industry, but also just at life in general. I believe you need some motivation in whatever field you're in. Um, but yeah, I fucking love this. And also, you remember what I was telling you about earlier with detail? Check this out. Underneath the hem of the T-shirt, that's underneath. Just little touches like this. Work hard, hustle harder, kill everything <laughs> little touches all right they are important look right at the bottom you know amazing may i add because i spent over a hundred dollars um with those two products they send a free t-shirt check it out same size just a free t-shirt check it out free t-shirt mate and the, um, may I just add, I messaged Flag Not Fail via Facebook and was through to one of the members of the team there. Really, really friendly, answered really, really quickly. I said, look, just bought a bag um, and a t-shirt. I was wondering, is there any, you know, stickers or, you know, decals that you can maybe chuck in, you know, because I want to put one on my car or something, you know. And they just chucked one in. Just tucked a, a decal in for free. The nicest guys ever. And this is why these, you know, this is why us as the customer will keep going back and keep going back to this brand because of the service they provide and the products are so high in quality. I'm so impressed and I cannot recommend them any higher. Okay, so super embarrassing thing happened. 
as I was filming the outro in there, and then when I to upload it onto Final Cut Pro on here, there's an error message and it said that the last um, clip wasn't captured, so I'm kind of doing that now. Just to wrap up, I love the bag, love the company, um, the brand, I believe in the brand, and I, I love the message that they kind of bring on every, into every product, you know. Um, and, you know, I believe that's quite a good thing. And that's one of the things that a product or a brand has to make sure that they do and accomplish is their mission statement. And, you know, and do they, you know, do you live and breathe it, that lifestyle? And and um, it's not just clothing. It's there's messages in there and it, they're very, very helpful. And um, so I salute you. But also I want to talk to you about Flag Not Fail Rob and Dana and everybody else and all the other things they've got going because they can't, you can kind of go from branch to branch with each thing. So have a look on their YouTube channel. You'll see they go on these tours with the dolphin. Um, there's, there's a bloody adventure tour, which is amazing, which has inspired me to go traveling more, which I'll take the bag with. Um, they're in, involved with cars. They're involved with welding, you know, and, and making gym equipment. They have their own gyms that you can go and train at. Um, you know, the camps that they do. Um, many, many things. You know, woodworking and... They're inspiring. I'm inspired. Oh, and don't forget the Run Everything Labs. So they've got their own sort of supplement company. I think the mentality is... Um, when you have an idea, the one thing that's stopping you is yourself. And I love that the the mentality that Rob has, and everybody there probably does have, is that they kind of ask the question, well, why not? What's stopping us? And I love that, and that's inspired me to kind of go on and do my own thing. So thank you once again, Rob, and, and everybody on your team. Yeah, go check them out, flagnorfail.com. We'll go on to YouTube and type in Dana Lynn Bailey, and you can see all the action there. Thanks for watching. Peace. Go! Yeah! Yeah!